The law governing passport applications requires that the applicant, if he is applying in Belize, personally presents himself at the Immigration Department for the purposes of being photographed and fingerprinted, so that this vital information can be embedded in the passport. A person did appear at the Immigration Department, accompanied by Minister Penner, who has admitted in an email to taking Kim to the Department on September 3, 2013. It turns out that this is false. Minister Penner then informed the immigration officer that the person along with him was Kim. As it turned out, that person was a decoy because Kim was in a Taiwanese jail at the time. This was clearly an intention to deceive immigration officials. Secondly, the information provided to the immigration officer by way of the passport application also turns out to be false and falsified for the following reasons. Minister Penner personally handed the passport application form to the immigration officer. This form shows it as having been signed by Kim and dated 3rd of September. This again is false since Kim was in jail. The questions arise, who filled out the form? Who signed it and dated it 3rd of September 2013? The answer to these questions may very well lie in Penner's declaration of recommender form. First, to the handwriting on the passport application, you will see the name Kin, not Kim, an error which Kim would clearly not make. A closer look at the letter N and the several N's appearing in the rest of the document show them to be exactly alike to the N's on Penner's recommendation, filled out and signed by Penner himself. It is also a criminal offence to falsify immigration information. It is also a criminal offence for Penner to take a person into the immigration department and pretend in front of immigration officials that that individual was Won Hong Kim. Minister Penner can also be charged for aiding and abetting and conspiracy to commit fraud and falsification of information. There is a fifth criminal offence that can be brought against Penner because he signed confirming that all the false information was, quote, true and correct to the best of his knowledge and belief, unquote. All told, Kumpol Wiley's argument in the Supreme Court is not substantiated by the facts borne in the documents available to him and his officers. And, this is only some of the information we have perused thus far.